Why do you have chickens if you don't eat meat? Where did you get this chicken from? From the backyard. I chopped their heads off myself. I wish, I wish I was a chicken. You remind me of Layla so much. You remind me of Layla so much. I miss her. Layla! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today's video is going to be a bit stinky. Now, it's very rare that I talk about anything on this channel that I have an actual quarrel with. I'd say like 95% of the time I'm covering a video because I find it funny or silly, and that's my main motivation for talking about it, just lighthearted entertainment. Today, uh, not, not so much. Now, we've seen our fair share of life lesson videos on this channel, and when I say that, I actually mean we've probably watched more than any other channel on this website. Not sure yet if that's something to be proud of, but we've seen, we've seen a lot. Today, however, we're gonna see something that I wish I didn't have to. Allow me to introduce you to a channel called Tomorrow's Teachings, a channel that should probably be taken off of this website. You can look through some of these videos on their channel and probably see what I'm talking about, but one that I think really makes a strong argument for this is their most recent video, Girl Turns Into a Chicken, You Won't Believe It. Now at first you're probably thinking, okay, this is just a silly parody-like life lesson channel, and that's what I thought too when I first saw this channel and then I watched this video and, uh, well, that's, that's not what it is. Now, I watched this video originally on stream and I was very hesitant to even cover it because I feel like this is something that would get me a strike knowing YouTube. Even though this video is live and well on the original channel, that's never stopped me from getting a strike before. But hey, I feel like I'm in pretty good standing with YouTube. I've been a good boy recently, so uh, maybe, maybe they'll cut me some slack. I guess we'll find out. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Miss Karen, I told you I'm vegetarian. Do not be crazy. Eat the chicken. It's good for you. I've been vegetarian almost all my life. My dad is too. We don't believe in eating meat. It's not fair for the animals. I don't care. Eat the meat. It's good for you. I want my dad. Well, he's not here till Friday, so shut up. Why can't you respect my decision of being vegetarian? Being a vegetarian is a disgrace in my family. I only eat chicken and meat. That's where you're gonna eat while I watch you. My god, these TikTok carnivore diets are really getting out of hand. So at first glance, it just seems like a stereotypical, stupid life lesson channel. You know, people just trying to mooch off the style of Darman and doing these over-the-top life lessons that would never happen in any real situation, and then trying to tie it back together at the end as some sort of inspirational message. And uh, once again, just really want to make clear here, that's, uh, that's not what you're about to watch. Why do you even have chickens if you're vegetarian? Wait, what? Why do you have chickens if you don't eat meat? Where did you get this chicken from? From the backyard. I chopped their heads off myself. What? No! Jack, Toby, Sarah, Alice! No, she killed them! Hi, Clyde. I'm sorry my nanny killed your wife. All right, so the grieving process was over and done pretty quickly. You seem to not be too torn up about it anymore. I'm not trying to be like that guy that like overhypes a silly video, but just knowing what happens next, man, these scenes are just gross. Hey, Miss Karen, have you seen the baby chickens? Guess they're not teaching context clues in school anymore because I feel like you should really not be surprised at the absence of the eggs here. I mean, you have just been informed that your nanny is eating all of your pet chickens, so, uh, so could you really not kind of put two and two together? Yep. They're right here. No! Those were the babies! How could you? I got hungry. They were just babies! Save one for you tomorrow morning. No, please! Those are my friends! They're dead! And they're a good source of protein. Tomorrow, we kill the other chicken. No! Not Clyde! He's my friend! He's the only one who's been there for me. Look, I'm not trying to throw salt in the wound here, but if a chicken is the only person who's ever been there for you, I, I would recommend you try and expand that social circle. I feel like that's not a healthy situation for anybody, much less a child. Oh, please, please. Bend over, now! You're getting a spanking. 
So we're gonna skip over this part real quickly because YouTube is kind of weird about stuff like this. I mean, I kind of get it. But yeah, we've sourced an actual whip for this scene, which I, I feel like is a bit of a strange creative decision. You know what I mean? Not what I would do, just saying. I wish I was a chicken, so I didn't have to deal with humans like you. Dear God, please take me away from these evil humans. I wish, I wish I was a chicken. Layla, get up. You have to leave for school in 20 minutes. <sighs> what the heck? I'm... I'm a chicken? Yep, it sure does appear that way. And you know, of all the things that you could wish to be, I'm not sure how you landed on chicken. This one might be a little bit too late considering that you are already a chicken, but uh, you know, chickens don't get treated too well by humans either. Actually, chickens get treated a lot worse than humans get treated, believe it or not. So uh, not sure how we got here. How did this happen? What are you doing here? Miss, Miss Karen! Miss Karen! It's me, Layla! <laughs> Nanny Karen! It's me, Layla! I'm a chicken! Help me! You're dead, chicken! Ah! lucky this time. I absolutely promise I'm not even making a joke here. How is the chicken the best actor in this video? Like, it seems like this chicken is actually taking cues. How is, how is this happening? This chicken is the shining star of this video. Clyde! Um, excuse me? Who are you? Can you understand me? Do you know me? It's me, Layla, your owner. I got turned into a chicken somehow. It's so nice to be able to talk to you. You mean to tell me that you're my owner and you got turned into a I chicken? I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. That is crazy. Say, if you want to come in? Clyde, I need your help. I can't be a chicken. I'm a little girl. I'm a human. I can help you if you come in. Uh. It's okay. I don't buy it. So I just want to give a disclaimer, uh, yeah, this is going exactly, exactly where you think it's going. I just really want to have all the context here that we have an actual actor for this chicken who we've seen, who is a kid, that is voice acting this chicken. How, as a parent, do you read this script, understand the concept, and be like, yeah, sure, she can do it. Clyde, what are you talking about? I want to put my eggs in your little girl. I want to rub my waddles on your little girl parts. Yeah, this is this is a real video on YouTube, guys. There's a production team behind this. There's multiple adults who wrote this out, approved it, and then there was an adult who got paid to say these things. I get shot comedy. I don't think that it's really a big deal, but there are lines. There are lines where it's just not funny anymore, and I think we found it. And I think we're looking at that line with binoculars because we're a little bit past it. Class what are you doing? I thought we were friends. Oh, you make me feel young again. What? You know what I'm talking about, little chicken girl. Guys, you know what I really don't like about this? You know what I really hate about this even? I feel like, I feel like that slurp wasn't on the script. I feel like that was improv. I don't like that, man. I'm not a fan. Layla. Layla. Layla, where are you? If you don't come out now, I'm gonna kill you! Who are you, who are you talking to like that? Oh, Angel, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here till tomorrow. I lost my job. I'm back early. Oh. So, who are you talking to like that? And where's Layla? They're really capturing an accurate representation of how a dad would react if he came home and his daughter was missing, and the nanny was saying to the child, I'm going to kill you. I feel like this is how most people would react word for word. What are you doing out of your cage? It's okay, we're gonna put you back in with your friends, don't worry. I don't know how you even got out of here. Dad! Dad! Oh yeah. Dad, no, it's me! Get her in here with me.
So, uh, I know what you're probably thinking. You're thinking, okay, they had their little shock moment, they've gotten the audience they wanted, they're not gonna go to the next obvious step, right? Surely, surely even that's a bit too far for them, right? Oh, no, it's, <laughs> it's not, okay? So just, just be ready for that. Karen! Karen? Layla? I walked back inside and they were both gone. And you really think she kidnapped Layla? Yes. Alrighty then, we'll keep an eye out for her. Have a good day. So over the next few minutes, a lot happens, and I don't really want to give this channel any more screen time than I absolutely have to, so we're gonna go through it quickly. First, we see a merch plug, which is absolutely insane given the context of this video. Then we've got two people who come and steal the chicken for chicken fighting, and then Layla the chicken gets shot, and she somehow miraculously survives, I guess, and then somehow she finds her way home. And then we get to this final ending scene. What are you doing out here? <laughs> How do you keep getting out? You remind me of Layla so much. You know, I feel like that is a bit unlikely and is really just to move the plot forward, but uh, hey, whatever gets this video over quicker is fine with me. You remind me of Layla so much, I miss her. <gasps> Layla! Dad! Oh my god! What happened? I don't know. I just woke up as a chicken. I thought you were gone forever. I feel like this is not the standard reaction of when you kiss a chicken and they turn into your daughter. I feel like most people would be a bit more shocked. I mean, it really seems that he just took his daughter telling him that he turned into a chicken at face value and didn't even question it. I, I don't think that's normal. How did you turn into a chicken? I made a stupid wish and I'm sorry. <sighs> I missed you. I love you, Layla. I can't believe that. No more. Don't do that again. Okay, Dad. Layla experienced a reversal, turning her back to human form. Layla and her dad were grateful that everything was back to normal. But, unfortunately, Leela got pregnant. No, don't, don't rewind, you heard it. Yeah, no, they didn't just double down on this, they tripled down on it. I mean, I guess if you're gonna make a video like this, you really just gotta go all in, but, uh, wow. I think it's easy to pass this off as, like, a silly, stupid YouTube video, but when you really look at the facts behind this, it's, it's just gross. I wasn't joking when I said there was a genuine production company behind this. This is like a real film company. This is not some joke project from a bunch of kids. A bunch of adults put this together and then published it with their name behind it. They had a real child voice these lines and act this character. I cannot imagine being a person like this. Well guys, another day, another disappointment in YouTube. I don't see how stuff like this stays on YouTube and is monetized. It's not like this is the only video they've done like this either. They've got some crazy stuff on their channel. Yet the people who end up getting striked are the ones who don't even have anything against TOS in their video. I just don't get it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.